Yo guys, so it's Sajith. This channel is Altcoin Speculator. The channel will be about comparing one to one cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin to Ethereum. And we'll just be looking at the potential of the cryptocurrency in the future. There's every day new millionaires are born. This will motivate you every day and how crypto could become. Therefore, I'll help you on your journey with these content. As you know, cryptocurrency can be volatile. This will cause investors to get scared. However, since we're long-term investors, we don't care about the short term. If you just look at the, how Bitcoin has been moving over time, you will understand that this crypto journey is a long term. This ain't only just Bitcoin. There are other coins such as Ethereum, Binance Coin, Solana, Cardano, XRP, and many more. Unfortunately, many people want short term success but end up losing a lot of money because of this. Say for example, if I invest in one coin, you, you start to basically realize, oh, I could have put it before. That's greed, you don't want that. What you invest is what you invest. I'll be providing information such as topics of different altcoins to show you how they have been performing and show you different perspectives on what they could potentially become in the future. If you want free $25, you can simply sign up below description, crypto.com. Uh, if not, if you already have crypto.com, there's a Coinbase link down below as well. You can get free money, so yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out the other channel, link down in the description, investment made easy. This is not a financial advice. I repeat, not financial advice. Thank you. Hello guys, uh, it's the new video. I'm gonna be comparing the cryptocurrency orbs uh, with the graph. So yeah, as you can see, uh, orbs has a market cap of 189 million. Whereas the graph has $3 billion. So as you can see, there's a huge difference between the market gaps. So as you can see, uh, Orbs has a smaller market cap, meaning that it has more potential in the future. So yeah, uh, Orbs are probably gonna increase in value um, in the future uh, since there's more potential to grow in the future. If you want to actually buy this Orbs, uh, you would go on these markets. So Bitthumb, Gate.io, FTX. Uh, these are the th uh, three or four most wanted. Uh, you can go on Qcoin to actually buy um, or however it's up to you. The price does differ depending on the fees, but I do recommend these four or five um, since Bitfarm has the highest volume uh, so far and is high in confidence and also FTX has the highest liquidity. So yeah, I personally go with Bitfarm or FTX or either one of these. So yeah, today we're going to be comparing the orbs all time high and all time low. So as you can see right here, it was high up to 36 cents. The all time low was two years ago under Ascent. So yeah, you would have made a money worth. Um, and obviously nine months ago, that was the highest. It has definitely gone down in value, but it will increase. As you can see, it's kind of going up. If you purchase orbs from the start, the launch, uh, you would have made a 97% increase in profits and you would have made a lot. So yeah, you might be wondering what orbs it actually is. So orbs is a public blockchain infrastructure that combines state, scalability, low fees, performance, security, and ease of use. The platform is designed for mass use applications and supports a complete blockchain stack. The Orbs platform is a decentralized, open and transparent network that offers practical blockchain solutions for enterprises, other large scales consume your applications. So yeah, basically started uh, established in 2017. So it had time um, to actually grow and stuff like that. However, you know, as you can see here, nine months ago, it was the whole time high, but it has been decreasing. So it means that is the best time to actually buy. So as you can see, we've been decreasing within the month. Uh, it's just been pumping and dumping, uh, but it's, it's slowly going up and down. But 
definitely in the red. As you can see, within the seven days, it has been going in a downtrend. Uh, so, so yeah, as you can see, the price has been going lower. Uh, it's been very, very, um, very bit up and down, but it's definitely gone uh, down. It, has, it is kind of a trend going up and down, up and down, but it's, it is going down. But within the day, as you can see, it's been going up and down. Comment down below if you think this will reach the all-time high. As you can see, it's a 14.01x times uh, in order to actually reach uh, the graphs market tab. So yeah, it will just take a dollar and nineteen cents just to reach the same level. So yeah, comment down below if you actually hold one of these either's coins and if you think that this will reach the same level. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully this was useful. So yeah, thank you. Okay guys, welcome to my new video and uh, this is going to be a new series for you guys as a lot of you guys have requested that how many X's would a cryptocurrency need in order to become another crypto? So this is going to be something that is going to be comparing two cryptocurrencies for example, if we take Ethereum and Bitcoin, I'm going to show you. It would need Ethereum 2.54x of the market cap in order to become Bitcoin's market cap. And we're basically going to be talking about whether that is highly likely to happen or if there is another best solution. So this is the type of stuff that I'll be doing with smaller cryptocurrencies, comparing them to like top 50 cryptocurrencies and talking about whether it is going to be possible or whether it is going to be a very difficult for the cryptocurrency to do that. We will also be talking like what if, for example, Veracity had a market cap of Bitcoin and what the price would be and many other cryptocurrencies. So guys, please comment down in, in the description below and uh, um, select the cryptocurrency that you would like me to talk about and uh, I'll compare it with another cryptocurrency just so that we can get an understanding of where this cryptocurrency can potentially go and how many X's it can potentially do. So if you do um, enjoy this series, um, yeah, and as you guys know, this is not financial advice. This is for entertainment purposes only and yeah, peace.